Now that you have a good understanding of the pulmonary circuit, we're going to take a look at how the pulmonary circuit and systemic circuit work together to transport oxygenated blood to the tissues of the body and carry deoxygenated blood away. First, we're going to start with a memory mnemonic system to help you remember the names of the major arteries and veins that you will need to know for this course. We're going to use ice makers for our memory mnemonic and it works like this. Remembering that all of the major arteries we are studying here branch off the aorta, the first letter that we're going to start with is the I in ice makers. I stands for the iliac artery which transports freshly oxygenated blood from the aorta to the legs. The corresponding vein is the iliac vein, which transports deoxygenated blood back to the vena cava to the right atrium. C stands for the coronary artery. The coronary artery carries freshly oxygenated blood from the aorta to the muscles of the heart. The corresponding vein is the coronary vein. The coronary vein collects spent blood from the muscles of the heart transporting it through the coronary sinus to the right atrium. M stands for the mesenteric artery. The mesenteric artery carries freshly oxygenated blood from the aorta to the small intestine. We will not discuss the mesenteric vein as it is not required for this course. We will, however, discuss a special vein called the hepatic portal vein. It is referred to as a portal vein because it transports blood from one organ to another. The hepatic portal vein transports blood from the small intestine to the liver to be detoxified. From the liver, the blood is transferred through the hepatic vein to the vena cava. A is for the aorta, the largest artery in the body that transports freshly oxygenated blood out of the left ventricle to all of the other arteries of the body. The corresponding vein is the vena cava, the largest vein in the body that collects spent blood from all of the other veins in the body and carries it to the right atrium. C is for the carotid artery, which carries freshly oxygenated blood from the aorta to the head. The corresponding vein is the jugular vein, which carries spent blood back to the vena cava. R is for the renal artery. Whenever you hear the word renal, think of the kidneys. The renal artery carries freshly oxygenated blood from the aorta to the kidneys. The corresponding vein is the renal vein. The renal vein carries spent blood from the kidneys to the vena cava. And finally, S stands for the subclavian artery. The subclavian artery carries freshly oxygenated blood from the aorta to the arms. The corresponding vein is the subclavian vein, which carries spent blood from the arms to the vena cava. Now that we've identified the major arteries and veins that you will need to know for this course, you will have to be able to trace the path of blood from one location in the body to another. Remember that if you are tracing the path of blood from one organ to another, the blood always has to pass through the pulmonary circuit. So let's look at an example. If you are asked to state the path of blood from an arm to the head, you will state the following. Blood will be transported through the subclavian vein to the vena cava, to the right atrium, to the right ventricle, through the pulmonary artery to the lungs, where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged, and will be transported back to the left side of the heart, through the pulmonary vein, through the left atrium, through the left ventricle, through the aorta, through the carotid artery, to the head. Practice some examples of these such as the path of blood from the leg through to the kidneys. Remember that in between every organ, the blood has to pass through the pulmonary circuit.